Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly pick a card reading. This is going to be for the week of Monday, February 24th, all the way to Sunday, March 1st. I can't believe it of 2020. So if you've not been to a pick a card reading before or my channel, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. All I ask you to do is get into a calm centered space, maybe take a couple deep breaths and really get in touch with your intuition. And that way the pile that you pick or the card deck that you pick will resonate a lot more with you. Um, this is a general reading, so take what does resonate and know that there is a message in there for you. I'm going to try to make this a very quick video. Um, I'm running low on time this week, so I apologize, but I do want to make sure you guys are getting your weekly pick a card reading, so I'll just make sure it's faster moving. All right, so for group number one, we have the Lightseer's Tarot deck. Group number two, we have the Mystic Mondays deck. Group number three is the Wild Unknown. And group number four is the Tattooed Tarot deck. Now, all of the timestamps will be in the description box below as well as in the comment section pinned by me. That way you can skip ahead to your particular group that you chose. All right, guys. If you need to meditate on your piles, you can pause the video to do so. Other than that, I will see you in your group pile. Hello, oh, my group number ones, those of you who have chosen the Light Sears Tarot, let's go ahead and take a look at your week ahead, the 24th through the 1st of March. So Monday's energy is the Hermit. Okay, so Monday, you're probably gonna be a little bit more introspective, a little bit more quiet, thinking about things a lot more than vocalizing it, being kind of like a hermit. Um, you're going to be enjoying solitude and meditation, looking within for answers, um, that sort of energy. That is what Monday is going to be for you. Maybe not wanna to socialize too much, don't wanna be around people, you've, you've had it, like no more peopling for you on Monday. So just make sure you're looking within for answers you have the answers, you just gotta kinda of search for it within, okay? Tuesday, we have Six of Cups. This is one of my favorite cards ever, it's so sweet. So this is nostalgia. So you're gonna be thinking about um, past times, past fun times, but this is also um, reconnecting with people from your past, okay? so. People might be reaching out to you or you might be feeling drawn to reach out to others that you haven't spoken to in a while that um, were really big in your past. And this is also, you know, harmony uh, and, um, you know, reconnecting with those people. It could be family, friends, um, whatever the case may be. So I love those little doggy. Oh, so cute. Okay. Wednesday, we have magician energy. So this is a reminder that you have all the tools you need to succeed, okay? You have every single tool in your tool belt that you need to accomplish what you want to accomplish. This is also creativity. Again, you have the tools that you need. You are creative, you are individual, you have the skills, the natural talents, and the resourcefulness to do what you want to do, okay? So this is your reminder. Wednesday, when you get down in the dumps because it's the middle of your week, know that you have it inside of you it's been there it's natural you are amazing you are individualistic you are unique you are amazing okay so that is that energy and then for thursday we have four of cups four of cups is the energy of boredom of being discontented um just being like not appreciating what you have you know and that's not to say that you don't appreciate what you have, but it's kind of like that thing of like, oh, well, you know, I have these nice things, but I could always have more or, you know, I'm bored of it. I should have another, that sort of energy. It's mostly boredom being kind of discontented with how your day's going to go. So just keep that in check a little bit on Thursday because, you know, it's closer to your weekend for most of you. So, um, Thursday, you're going to feel kind of, eh, kind of black, kind of like how she looks in the uh, picture here. So just know that it's going to get better um, and maybe try to use some of your creativity to, um, you know, loosen you up a bit and feel a little bit better. All right. You're create, you're, you are so creative. You can get yourself out of the doldrums, right? Especially with this hermit card energy for Monday, really, you know, be, what, why do you feel bored? Like look inside yourself, look in, in, be introspective. All right, Friday we have the Hierophant. So this is a card all about structure, all about kind of conformity, but it's also about um, 
opening yourself up to new beliefs, new learning systems, community, structure, tradition, um, you know, enlightenment, and seeking guidance. So again, if you're not feeling quite yourself, seek some guidance. Look within, look to someone you would consider um, a mentor or uh, maybe a person who you are curious about their spiritual beliefs and you respect that and you want to start diving into it. Look to them for some answers. But this is about opening yourself up, giving yourself a little bit more structure and really kind of um, opening up to, to new beliefs and new systems, if that makes sense. Having the um, structure, guidance, and, you know, possible education or training. So however this relates to you guys, um, especially if you're learning new skills or going into something new, um, a Friday might be the day that you're looking into it and like you're really diving deep into um, how you want to go about whatever this uh, creativity that you want to manifest is. All right, Saturday, two of wands. Okay, so this is kind of like you're planning for your future, but you kind of are a little skittish to take the first leap. Like you want a new adventure, you want something um, better out there, but you're kind of timid to take that first leap to the unknown, all right? Hopefully that makes sense. This is, you know, definitely making progress new adventures, but definitely planning for your future. So that makes sense. That very, very much makes sense with um, the rest of the week here. You're, you're learning, you're trying to plan, you're having that um, decision time, the decision-making time. And here we go. We have death and rebirth on Sunday. So you guys are going through a transformation of some sort and it's like a rebirth like it says here. So there's something going on that you guys have been contemplating for a while that you've been looking within to really figure out your answers and what you want out of it. You're looking to past experiences and you're realizing that you're bored and you know not really liking where you're at and you need a new challenge or you need a new direction and by Sunday you've kind of made the decision to trans to transform or to transition into this new area of your life. Okay, so let's see if there's anything else that I want to mention here. I think I pretty much already did for you guys. I'm trying to make it quick. I know I don't normally do really, really quick and rapid videos, but um, my week just kind of flew by. So um, the important mes message I'm taking away from all of this is that you're going to be going through some bit of a transition. You need to look inside yourself and be um, really look for what you want and know that inside yourself, you have everything you need to succeed. You have the tools. People from your past can be there to support you as well as um, you can search and look for new, um, new structure, new teachers and new mentors as well. And then by Sunday, you guys are ready for a change, ready for a transformation. You're good to go. Normally, this would be more of a um, deeper, meaningful uh, card spread. But since it's for the week ahead, it's, a just, it's just a generic um, uh, spread of what energies you could be expecting. So we're not going to dive too deep into the meanings of it being... Um, uh, too heavy or, you know, this is exactly what's going to be happening to each and every one of you. It's just an overview of the energies coming in and um, what could be possibly going on during that week of your guys' time. All right, so let's take a look at your uh, Queen of the Moon Oracle cards. We have self-reflection. Oh, okay. So this is talking about really looking inward and really figuring out what you want and who you want to be. So what do you want out of life? Where do you want to go? What do you want to achieve? What do you want to do? So this is really taking that time to be a hermit and look within yourself to see what you want out of it, out of your life. Where do you want out of your experience? Um, you know, be open to new beliefs, new systems, new, uh, new, uh, new ways of being, but this is also being patient to what you, where you want to go and how you develop, right? Be patient with yourself as well. And then last but not least, we have sovereignty. So this talks about, this is your life. You can rule over it however you see fit. Like you only have this one life, right? So you want to, you know, uh, go for it and be powerful, you know, reign over 
your awesomeness, you know, take control, take charge, and just know that other people are taking note and they're watching and they're seeing how, how you do it and what you do. So you want to make sure that, you know, you're, you're giving it, you're all with your best intentions. Okay. You can do this. You are powerful. You're amazing. You're awesome. You have the tools you need. So if this resonates with you, if this makes sense, if this has helped you out, let me know down in the comment section what group you chose. I'd be really interested to know. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Hello, my group number twos, those of you who have chosen the Mystic Monday, let's go ahead and take a look at your week ahead. We're gonna kinda go through this pretty quickly just so you can get the overarching themes, things to look out for, that sort of a thing. And then we'll go into your Queen of the Moon Oracle cards just for some extra guidance or um, confirmation, all right? So let's take a look at your week ahead. So Monday, we have the Princess of Pentacles or um, in the traditional terms, Page of Pentacles. So this is kind of cool for Monday. Um, so this is manifesting new opportunities and beginnings. This is learning new skills. This is, you know, uh, a new career path possibly, um, financial opportunities, you know, making plans. This is also good news too. So good news might be coming your way with this little ball of energy there. Um, so yeah, great things for Monday. So again, take what resonates with you. This is general, but this is the energy coming in for Monday. So good things happening. You guys are manifesting things. You guys are manifesting opportunities, money, skills, um, ventures, all sorts of things. So that's awesome to see for Monday. You guys are already taking charge on Monday. So look out for some good news too. There may be some um, fantastic news coming your way for Monday um, by phone or by email, whatever the case may be. That This is normally a, a card of, of great news and great opportunity coming from that. Okay, another pentacle card. All right, so three of pentacles. This is teamwork, community, getting it done together. So you guys definitely might be working in a team for work or for school, cooperation. Um, you guys are gonna be manifesting things together. So it probably will be a group project or a group um, a teamwork of some sort for Tuesday. So it could even be you know working together with family to get the yard work done, that sort of a thing. Whatever the case may be, that's what the energy is coming in for you guys on Tuesday. I'm loving the color palette so far. Oh my goodness, more pa more pentacles. <laughs> so this is the ace of pentacles. So this is money coming your way or opportunities coming your way for real guys. What the heck? So this is um, like a bonus or finding money on the ground, finding money in your coat pocket, or it could be a new business opportunity, a new um, job offer something that um, will put money in your pocket, a bonus that you were not expecting, uh, a bonus opportunity, anything like that. That's amazing. So yeah, new ideas. You're planting the seeds for the future. This is just pro prosperity all over. So Wednesday, you're going to have a very good day for Wednesday. Oh my gosh. So you guys might be hearing some good news and then come on from, um, the, 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 the. Oh, I swear, too much caffeine today. You guys might be having some good news on Monday about said Wednesday opportunity, all right? Keep a lookout for that. Thursday, we have, ooh, so we're gonna be celebrating on Thursday. This is Three of Cups, the cup of celebration about social events, about family, um, sibling uh, wonderfulness, uh, hanging out with your siblings, hanging out with your best friends, your besties, going out and just having a great time, togetherness. Again, this is kind of like community, um, but like having fun, a social event. You guys might even get um, invited to something on Thursday to a social event, to something like a wedding or an outing or you know some sort of celebration. So that's that energy. All right. Then Friday, Friday we have Six of Swords. So this is a card that's all about transitions, whether it's transitioning to a new job, transitioning to a, you know, moving to a new home, moving to a new position, transitioning, um, travel, whatever the case may be for you as what it means in, in your neck of the woods. So transitioning, um, 
this is also a card energy all about healing. So you are healing from past traumas, you're healing from past situations. This is a very healing energy. Okay, so transition. So you guys are moving into something new, something beneficial, something amazing, I feel like, especially with this um, Ace of Pentacle. Yeah. Yeah. This is also, um, you know, getting support, having the help when you need the help, it, at, having help at the right time as well. So yeah, this is awesome to see for a Friday. Heck yeah. Your week so far is an amazing week. Okay, so Saturday, okay, got a lot of pentacle and sword energy. We have eight of swords. So this is kind of feeling trapped, feeling isolated. Um, but again, it's kind of just all in your head. You have the ability to get out of feeling trapped should you want to, should you turn your attention, should you open your eyes to it. So Saturday, um, you know, Take off the blindfold a little bit, open your eyes, see what you are making too big of a deal of, not to be so blunt, but yeah, you guys are feeling stuck. Um, you have more options than you thought. Like you have more opportunities and options in your wheelhouse than you thought. So if you're feeling a little trapped, feeling a little overwhelmed, don't worry about it. Open your eyes a little bit. See what you're not seeing. Focus on what you can see around you, um, what makes sense, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. And then Sunday we have the Knight of Swords. So this is like charge forth energy. This is like get it done energy. You have determination, drive. Your decision making is going to be amazing. You're going to be quick with it. This is... Um, quick energy. And you know, you are super intelligent. Your mind is working great on Sunday. You have that quick witted energy. Um, you can just get things done that you need to get done. This is also success and having achievements. So I feel like you're going to be feeling like you are on top of the world by the end of the week. So yeah, you're going to be feeling a little stuck on Saturday, but I feel like this is very superficial since this is a week spread. It's not, you know, a month or a really like a month spread or a really in-depth spread of a situation. This is just an overview of the energies coming in. So think about it very superficially, not so, um, you know, crazy in depth. So when we, when we're looking at the eight of swords, it's not necessarily such this, like you're, you're feeling so trapped and, you know, uh, tr you know, in your mind, all this stuff, it's just the energy coming through of you feeling, okay, maybe you feel trapped up in the house all day because it's raining in your neck of the woods and you want to get out of there. Like, and you can't get stuff done because you got all of these other priorities that you have to take care of. That sort of energy It's day to day energy. It's not big picture energy. I hope that makes sense. So I don't want you to see eight of swords and feel like, Oh God, Saturday is going to be an uh, awful day. It's not, it's just going to be one of those days where you feel a little extra down or you feel a little more like, um, you're stuck. You're like in a rut or something like that. But it's also a reminder that you just got to open your eyes a little bit and understand that, you know, it's going to be okay because come Sunday, everything's fine again. And you have that determination and drive to get stuff done. So let me overview it. You've got a great opportunity coming this week. You're going to be celebrating. There's some transitions going on, some healing taking place, and you're going to get stuff done. You guys are very intelligent people with all of this sword energy, and you guys are very hardworking and loyal people as well with this pentacle energy. You guys are going to be feeling on top of your game. So work or school, whatever the case may be for you guys are going to be amazing this coming week. And let's take a look at your queen of the moon. We have peace. All right, so this card talks about really letting go of the stuff that doesn't serve you anymore so that you can really find peace. Looking inward to, you know, figure out what what you're, you know, what's keeping you from having that peace, you know, meditating, really having that peace of mind. Like don't don't deal with drama, don't talk to people that are that you know are drama, don't engage in it. You don't need that in your life. It's fine. That might be um, uh, something that you're dealing with with Friday and Saturday that you might be feeling like, oh my God, these people, 
won't leave me alone, telling me about their drama. I don't need to hear it. I don't want to hear it. And I'm trapped listening to this, that sort of a thing. But you will find peace. You'll feel comforted in knowing that you got, you're you know, letting go of the stuff that doesn't serve your highest good. And then we have fruition. Okay, so this makes complete sense because you have a bunch of positive things going on. You have healing. You have this um, opportunity here. I feel like you guys have been manifesting. Some of you already know that you're manifesting um, because that's what this is talking about. Um, it's like setting your intentions and following through with them and manifesting your goals. So I really feel that there's a lot of you out there that are manifesting and that you're aware of it. And then there are a lot of you out there that do not know that you're manifesting. So knowing what you want and going for it with all of the drive and determination of this Knight of Swords and just knowing that you're worth it and you're amazing and you're wonderful and you deserve it. So again, you're hardworking, you're loyal, you get stuff done, you are, you know, determined and you are in deservance that you are in Can I speak today? I don't know if I can ever speak. <laughs> okay, so you are deserving the success because again, you have a lot of success cards in this week alone. So things are coming into fruition, things are coming into play that you have been planning for. So this is fantastic to see. So hopefully this makes sense. Hopefully this resonated with you. If it has, let me know down in the comment section what group you chose. And don't forget to like and subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. Hello, my group number threes. Those of you who have chosen the Wild Unknown deck, let's take a look at your week ahead from the 24th through the 1st of March. We have some Queen of the Moon Oracle cards here, so that way we can see if there's any guidance or advice or confirmation for you as well. So let's take a look. We're gonna kind of go through this quick, quick and sweet, short but sweet, just because time has gotten away from me this week. So I wanna make sure you get your weekly uh, pick a card. So Monday, we have Father of Cups or King of Cups. So this is talking about love in general. So you're going to be like filling the love on Friday. This is also being super creative, super stable, super balanced, being in control of your emotions, like feeling everything, but like being in control of them. This is also someone who's very nurturing, and this is also someone who is very supportive. So those are all of the aspects that are coming in on Monday. You guys are going to be having a very wonderful, fulfilling Monday, I feel like. You guys are going to be totally loving everything. You're going to be vibing. It's going to be great. All right. So Tuesday, oh my goodness, more cup energy. All right. So this is 10 of cups. This is fulfillment to the max. This is happy family life, happy relationships. This is feeling the abundance of everything. This is just, you know, community, harmony. This is wholeness. So Tuesday is going to be a wonderful day. I don't know if you're getting together with family on Tuesday, family you haven't seen in a while, but you guys are going to be spending it with family, with friends that are like family. You guys are going to be loving life on Tuesday. It's just like the, the emotional abundance. Like you feel so fulfilled and so amazing on Tuesday. Wow. That's such a great card to see. It's such a happy card. Ooh, and then Wednesday we have Ace of Pentacles. So group number two had Ace of Pentacles too. So that's interesting. So this is um, like unexpected money coming your way, a, an, an abundance or a bonus or like um, an opportunity presented itself to you. So Wednesday you might be getting a new job offer. You might be getting a promotion. You might be getting a bonus, a raise, something monetary. You might be just finding money on the ground or in your coat pocket. So keep that in mind, but you, there's going to be unexpected money or um, opportunities coming your way on Wednesday, which is fantastic. So far y'all have a great week. All right, Thursday, the Page of Swords. So this is curiosity. This is very much, you know, feeling a little restless. And this is also the thirst for information. So you guys might be wanting to learn anything and everything on Thursday. If this is a job opportunity that is presenting itself to you on Thursday, you're going to want to know everything about that position, that company, everything. You guys are going to want to know every little detail because you guys want to get ahead. You want to know, um, this is kind of like, um, 
you'll stop at nothing to get the good, the good info, the good intel, right? This is kind of an interesting card because this is also about like learning new things. So I'm just saying there's probably an opportunity there for you coming this week leading to something amazing. And look at that. Oh my gosh. Friday, the star. So this is hope. This is you having hope for all of the good things, all of the fulfillment, everything you want out of life, you have the hope for. This is all of your wishes granted. This is healing. This is also knowing that you are on the right path. So if you're questioning this opportunity or this um, job offer or this bonus or whatever the case may be, just know that you guys are on the right path, that you are deserving, that this is amazing. This is, you worked hard for whatever you were getting offered, okay? So for some of you, again, it may be a job opportunity, it might be a raise, it might be a bonus, it might be a new position. But others, it could just be you're, you know, finding a new venture or you're finding some, you know, couple pennies on the ground. I don't want to like, you know, it's not black and white. I, I cannot tell you exactly what you're going to be receiving on Wednesday. I can't. I'm sorry. I wish I could. All right. Saturday, we, oh my God. <laughs> You guys have such a fantastic week. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So Saturday, Ace of Cups, look at that. I love this card. It's just fulfillment, filling whole. Um, you know, your cup runneth over. This is such an amazing card. I love this. This is just, you know, this could be new connections, new friendships, new relationships. Um, you have just so much joy and positivity on Saturday that it's amazing. You're going to be feeling so good on Saturday. People are going to be coming in and out of your, uh, well, not in and out, but in your life, you're going to be meeting new people that are going to be like your soul family too. So like, you know, those people where you're like, you are like family and I just met you. Like, I know you and I are going to get along really well. Those are those connections. Okay, and last but not least, we have Page of Cups for Sunday. So this, again, is creativity. This is kind of having, like, that childlike enthusiasm and really, like, having that sensitivity and being a dreamer. Yeah, just you're, you might have some new romance starting, new blossomings of that. But, yeah, being really creative, you're, you're a little sensitive on Sunday, um, I think you might be a little overwhelmed by all the good things happening to you this week. So you might be a little sensitive. I have to say some of you are that are picking this group pile, you guys are very intuitive because there is a lot of cup energy on the table here. There is a lot of water energy. So you guys could also be a water sign as well. So I'm looking at you, Pisces. <laughs> so yeah. There is a lot of just positivity going on here, which is fantastic. So let's take a look at your queen of the moon. We have the path. Oh my gosh. So this is basically talking about the path is open for you. Take your journey. Like you are on your way. Go forth and conquer. Like it is illuminated for you. You just climb up that ladder and you go. You are on your way. And then we have faith. So again, creativity. This this card reminds me a lot about the a lot of the Empress card because it's very similar, um, and it talks a lot about growth, fertility, positivity, being creative, having that abundance, um, knowing that things will get better. Just being able to follow your dreams. So again, if you guys are looking at starting a new venture, a lot of it is going to probably be a creative venture, creative venture. You guys are on your way to success. Have hope. Like you guys are so good this week. This is not even funny. Like I'm, I'm laughing inside because this is such a positive week to get. You guys are going to be possibly receiving a great new offer or a great new venture. You guys have two aces, two aces in your week. What the heck? And such a hopeful healing card as well. So yeah, you guys are going to have a fantastic week. It's going to be a great start for whatever you choose to do with this Ace of Pentacles energy here. Have faith that this is the right direction for you. Um, have faith in yourself because I know sometimes that's hard to do, 
But just know that this week coming up, you guys are going to be so fulfilled in everything that you do that you guys might be a little oversensitive about it, all right? So this is fantastic. Let me know if this resonated with you. Um, let me know down in the comment section what group you chose. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Have a fantastic, fantastic week. I'm so excited. Bye-bye. Hello, my group number four is those of you who have chosen the tattoo tarot. We're gonna take a look at a card for each of your day from the week, uh, for the day of Monday, the 24th, all the way to March 1st. So then afterwards, we'll see if there's any confirmation or advice or um, just anything extra the Queen of the Moon Oracle has to add, okay? So let's take a look at your Monday. We have Two of Swords. So you guys could be making a decision on Monday. You guys could be at a crossroads or a stalemate. Um, you guys could definitely be um, trying to choose which plan of attack is the best for your Monday, which pretty much makes sense for all of our Mondays, right? Mondays are usually the day of the week where we're like, we don't want to deal with anything and we have to decide everything for the rest of the week. Ugh. So yeah, that is that energy for Monday. Okay, Tuesday, ooh, we have the Knave of Coins, also known as the Page of Pentacles. So you guys are very practical. You guys are learning. You guys are manifesting new things. Um, there's new beginnings, good news coming. You guys definitely have ambition. You guys are learning um, skills, learning training, that sort of a thing. I don't know why my light keeps going in and out, but it is, I'm sorry. So yeah, Tuesday is going to be a day where you guys might be taking up some new, um, skills or some new, um, some training. All right. Manifesting some good stuff. Let me see if I can stop with that. There we go. Hopefully that worked. Wednesday. Oh, more, uh, more swords. Okay. So this is Knight of Swords. This is very charge forth and conquer energy. So you guys are very determined. You guys have the drive to get stuff done, especially for Wednesday. That's amazing. So yeah, very much charge forth and conquer energy determined, very much ambitious. Um, you guys are going to have, you know, make good decisions on Wednesday for sure. Um, this is also talking about how you have great wit and intelligence. So Wednesday, if you are looking to make some decisions, you know, this choice here, decision here on Wednesday, you'll be able to make it with intelligence. Okay. So keep that in mind. Again, this is a quick overview of your week of the energies that are coming in and out. This is not necessarily a deep dive into, um, uh, your life. It's just kind of like a superficial overview. So take what resonates and just know that these are the energies coming through. And then we have for Thursday, five of coins. So this is energy about worrying about your stability, worrying about your security. Um, you guys may be worrying about your health a little bit. So just know that there might be some stress with that on Thursday. You guys might be, um, uh, waiting for your payday, waiting for a payout, and you're worried if it's gonna come through. Don't worry too much. I think what a lot of people, when a lot of people see this card, they think it's such a negative card. A lot of the times, especially if it's if we're talking superficially, like we are here, a lot of this is just you worrying, the energy of you worrying. So it's not necessarily saying that you're going to be destitute on Thursday or you're going to be sick on Thursday. It's saying that you're worrying about it, that you're worrying that you won't be stable or you, your security is, is in jeopardy and you're worrying about it. That's all that that is. So let's see what Friday is coming for you. Let's see if it gets better in the week. Uh huh. And it does again, another ace of pentacles, two other groups had ace of pentacles. So this is going to be a great week. So by Friday, you are going to have unexpected money coming in. Okay. So you guys might have a check that's a little bit bigger. You guys might be offered a bonus or a raise. You guys might be offered a new job opportunity. So these little things you might be finding, and I have to say it money on the ground or money in your coat pocket, whatever the case may be, it might not be a raise. It might just be that, but you guys are going to be finding opportunities and mostly financial opportunities. So again, job offer, a bonus, a raise, um, or, you know, a new, um, promotion, that sort of thing might be coming Friday, or it's just, you know, found money or, you know, you, um, got paid a little bit more than you thought you were going to get paid that sort of a thing. But you guys can stop worrying about your security. 
All right, it's gonna be fine, <laughs> especially with this here. You're good. You are good. All right, Saturday, again, you're good. What a fantastic thing to see. Okay, so we have four of wands. This is stability. Stability in your home life, stability in your relationships, stability in your family. This is celebrations. You guys could be going to a wedding on Saturday because that's usually what it uh, symbolizes too. Or you guys could be thinking about getting married, that sort of a thing. Again, take what resonates. But for the most part, this is just telling you guys have security. You're stable. Things are going to be fine. You're going to be very happy Saturday. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Yeah, relationships are going to feel good. You guys are going to be happy. And Sunday, we have Page of Swords. Okay, so you guys are going to be learning some new things, new skills. Again, you guys have a lot of page energy this week too. Look at that. Um, this is also having the thirst for knowledge. So again, if, you getting a, if you're getting a job opportunity, you're going to be wanting to learn everything about that position, everything about that company or that place. You guys are going to be wanting to know anything and everything. This is also a lot of restless energy. So Sunday might not be a day of rest for you guys. It might be a day where you guys just feel like you got to get stuff done, but you don't know how to do it. You guys are wanting to go, go, go learn and really, um, be a student and, and learn new things. You guys have all of these ideas, these fresh ideas, and you want to just put them to use that sort of a energy, very curious energy as well. Again, you guys want to learn anything and everything, a thirst for knowledge for sure. Yeah. This could be somebody giving you good news on Sunday too. Okay. So let's see if there's anything else that I need to notify you about that I see. Yeah, I think you guys are going to be really worried. I think maybe you guys are at a crossroads where you guys were just like, you know, Monday you show up to work and you're just like, I'm bored of my job. I want to leave or like I want a promotion. I don't know if I'm ever going to get promoted. And then by the end of the week, you get promoted or you get an, another job offer, a better job offer. And you guys are going to be feeling good for the rest of the week. Because, yeah, there's a lot of worry here. But, you know, you guys are practical. You're hardworking. You're loyal. And you get things done. You're determined. You go forth and you have that ambition and drive. And you get things done. And that is going to get you noticed. People are already noticing that. So that's fantastic. And that's why on this Thursday, you kind of are having a little bit of doubts. You're worried about your security. You're worried that if you don't get promoted, what are you going to do? If you don't get this um, paper done, what are you going to do? That sort of a thing. But by Friday, your worries are going to be washed away, okay? Things are going to be looking up. Things are going to be looking stable. You're going to have that security back. Don't worry, okay? So that's what I see. You guys are smart. You got a lot of sword energy here. So you guys are smart. You're very intelligent, very witty, very much um, great with communicating. You guys are very, very good at that. So like you don't have to worry. And I really, I really want you to see your own self-worth because a lot of the times with this five of coins, you guys can think like, oh God, you know, I'm not worth anything or I'm like such a failure or blah, 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 blah. So if that's what's going to go through your head, don't worry because that is not the truth. You're going to be fine. All right, let's take a look at your queen of the moon cards. We have protection. What did I tell you? You're fine. You are protected. You are divinely protected. Okay. So this is talking about how you're loved and protected. This is also talking about how you should identify your fears and know what scares you so you can um, get past it and push through and know that you can get through anything because you are protected. All right. Yeah. Identify your fears so you can trust in yourself and better protect yourself. Okay. So again, don't worry. Don't stress. It's going to be okay. All right. And then we have <laughs> wisdom. What was I talking about? You guys are smart. You guys are intelligent. You guys have what it takes. And a lot of the times it's not, you know how people say like, I'm not smart, but I'm street smart. So wisdom is not necessarily about how many books you read or, you know, that sort of thing. Wisdom is also like knowing how people react or like that people, um, knowing people, I should say. Or like knowing your surroundings and how to get through your surroundings or knowing a job. Wisdom is what I'm trying to say is not necessarily, you know, uh, book smart. 
It's also, you know, knowing yourself, knowing what you can do, how far you can go, wisdom in your journey. So this is talking about that, you know, wisdom is, is gathered and it takes time to learn from your experiences, right? And also to reach out, if you don't know the answer to something, reach out to somebody that you know does, because again, more knowledge is better knowledge. So if you're insecure about not knowing something, or uh, like, for instance, if you're insecure about, you know, the job that you're offered or this position, it's okay to ask questions about that, right? So yeah, that's basically what this is talking about. Don't worry so much because your your worrying is not it's not warranted. Like you don't need to worry. You are protected. And like work through those fears. Like okay, so say that, you know, you have fear of um you know, if you lost your job tomorrow, do you have a savings account? That sort of thing. That fear of security, right? Losing your security work through that. How would you better protect yourself from that? Okay. Make sure you're putting money in a savings account. Make sure you're not spending overspending. Make sure that um, you're getting paid your worth. Those of you who freelance and um, that you make your own um, hourly wage, make sure you're charging, you know, what you're worth. Those sort of things are how you protect yourself, right? To if you are worried about your financial security, all right. If you're worried about your health, are you eating right? Are you, you know, exercising? Are you walking every day? What are you doing to better protect yourself? That's what that's talking about. All right, guys. If this has helped you or resonated in any way, let me know down in the comments what group you chose. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm sorry we are doing this pretty rushed today, but I wanted to make sure I got this up and in time for you guys to view it before the next week. So. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.